This use a plane is brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bag. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Yes, your sun power. This is the 7 a.m. Barbados Today update for Thursday, May the 15th, 2014. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Good morning. Five years after Clico Life Insurance collapsed, leaving some 25,000 policyholders in the cold, the way is now clear for them to start being compensated. The Barbados Cabinet has given its approval to the Judicial Manager Deloitte Consulting to restructure the, structure the company and begin implementing the terms, conditions and actions. Deloitte says the Cabinet approval allows it to start the process of implementing the final recommendations presented to the local High Court in June last year with the aim of having a regional solution. The recommendations include giving all policyholders with traditional insurance policies the full value of their products with the support of government. All holders of individual executive flexible premium annuities will receive the value of their principal investment. A new insurance company called Nuco is to start operations by year end to take over the insurance business and create separate entities which will own the real estate and other non-liquid assets. Meanwhile, the head of the Barbados Policyholders and Investors Alliance, June Fowler, says they welcome the new development. A warning from the Barbados Workers' Union, its Deputy General Secretary, Veronica Griffith, has put employers in the local fast food sector on notice that the BWU will not tolerate what she calls the new and unprecedented trend towards zero-hour contracts and mobile working days. Now, Griffith defines zero-hour contracts, which are used in some industrialized states, as one in which a worker agrees to be available for duty with a particular employer, but without any guaranteed hours or times of work, and therefore usually no guaranteed pay. The deputy union leader says that under these contracts, employers only need to pay for work when they need it. Griffith explains that the worker is also not entitled to other benefits such as sickness, medical or pension. Prime Minister Frandi Stewart is proposing the construction of three-storey residences along the island's coastline as one of the solutions to combating rising sea levels brought on by global warming. Stewart says such homes could be designed with the lower floors as parking areas and storage. Addressing yesterday's opening of a three-day Caribbean Urban Forum at Acre Beach Resort in Christchurch, he said this policy should also obtain for new coastal developments to minimize loss during an event. Our planners must therefore take the lead in preparing our countries for the effects of climate change. In that connection, we cannot ignore the fact that in the Caribbean, much of our tourism plant is located in the coastal zone. Our planning systems, therefore, must be adapted to ensure that new development in the coastal area is carried out with the best technical knowledge uh, available. At that same forum, President of the Commonwealth Association of Planners, Christine Platt, announced that Barbados and other regional states would benefit from $160,000 in funding to be channeled through the Caribbean Planning Association. Platt says the money would allow the planners to continue their work in the region. She says questions are also being asked in the corridors of power at the UN regarding the sustainable development goals and where and how those goals will be delivered. The debates are around the need for a standalone urban SDG. And the reason why the answer lies in adopting an urban SDG is because we all know that more than 50% of the world's population is already urban. And we also know that an excess of 70% of the world's GDP is generated in our cities. Also, what you may not know is that the targets that are being drafted in support of the SDGs 
um, especially for the um, urban SDG, is already starting to talk about planning and capacity building as being the very first target which would be uh, incorporated under an urban SDG. In sports, the world's fastest man, Usain Bolt, has been left out of a powerful Jamaica squad headed to the first ever IAAF World Relays later this month in the Bahamas. Bolt's exclusion was expected since he has not run all season. Johan Blake and Shelley and Fraser Price will lead the squad. Jamaica's biggest rivals, the United States of America, have named a 55-member team without Justin Gatlin and Alison Felix. This regional and international news after this short break. Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bag. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Get your sun power. To regional news, Jamaica reports an 8% drop in murders since the start of this year. According to National Security Minister Peter Bunting, 353 murders were recorded since January 1st, and this represents a 36% decline in shootings when compared to the last five years. He also reported that serious and violent crime decreased this year by 11% when compared to 2013. Bunting attributes the decline to new crime-fighting strategies, but he cautions that the country is still facing a huge problem. On the international front, in Turkey, outrage and grief as hundreds of bodies are pulled from a coal mine disaster in the western town of Soma. At least 274 people have been confirmed dead after an explosion at the site caused the pit to collapse on Tuesday. One mine operator reports that nearly 450 workers have been rescued even as personnel continue to desperate hunt for more than 100 still unaccounted for. That's been the 7 a.m. update. Join us again at noon. But until then, log on to www.barbadistoday.bb. Subscribe to our e-paper and like us on Facebook to get more news and sports. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Stay tuned. The Business Minute is up next. The Business Minute is brought to you by Signia Financial Group. To my people out there working hard to expand your horizons, chasing a flawless dream. Keep your eyes on the prize and we don't look back. It's forward thinking on to the new stuff. It's time to lay bricks on the foundation of your future. Get set for Signia to be sure. Signia, quality solutions for your financial needs. This is the Barbados Today Business Minute for Thursday, May 15th, 2014. I'm Dawn Paris. The relationship between JetBlue and Barbados is here for the long haul. This commitment from the airline's general manager for Barbados, Terry Lane. He tells the Business Minute, the U.S. carrier, which will be doubling its flights from June 19th to September 2nd, will continue to evaluate the Barbados market and capitalize on every available opportunity to spread its wings. I can tell you for a fact, it will be here for a long time. We have that commitment from the highest level in our companies, in our company, and we look forward to serving the Barbados public for a very, very, very long time. Lane says the Barbados market continues to perform well despite ongoing economic challenges. He reports the airline brought a record number of passengers to the island for February and March, and he's looking forward to a bumper summer. JetBlue began flights to Barbados just over two years ago. Chief Executive Officer of the Barbados Private Sector Association, Anne Reid, is calling on small and medium-sized enterprises to form more partnerships in order to utilize more of the trade agreements and development programs for ex Export. She says, especially now when companies are grappling with scarce funding and increasing competition, there should be greater collaboration to tap into international markets. She tells the Business Minute that as the Barbados economy remains depressed, it's even more crucial for companies to boost their exports. 
exporting and the ability to export is a way of gaining foreign exchange, which is so vital at this particular point in time. We can't just depend on tourism and international business. We want to be able to to um, to build exports. And actually, the manufacturers will say to you that most of the economies that are rebounding are doing it through their manufacturing capacity. But we believe that the partnerships is really the way to go for the future, where we can use resources uh, to be able to get the opportunity to grow and develop. Reed tells the Business Minute that as the Barbados economy remains depressed, it's even more critical for companies to boost their exports. At a time when many businesses are leaving the capital bridge town, at least one company has chosen to do the opposite. Cargo BGI, a shipping company which has been operating for the past five years in Hyatt Hall, has made Fontabelle its new home. Managing Director Sean Morris tells the Business Minute he's not worried about the move. In fact, he points out that although his previous location was convenient, they've made the change in response to new trends in the industry. But now that we are seeing an increase in personal effects and, and people buying their own stuff, uh, there are a lot more smaller people um, coming in. We now have to have a location to service them, uh, a location where they can get to us, you know, uh, and then get to the port easily. So we, we, even though there are a lot of companies moving away from Bridgetown, mm -hmm. we, we thought it necessary to have a location here. To, to service the customers. And now for today's financial tip. Although buying items when they are on sale might help you keep some cash in your pocket, it's important that you do so carefully so as not to end up spending more in the long run in buying similar items. That's been the Barbados Today Business Minute for today. Join us again next Tuesday. Until then, you can get more business and news by logging on to www.barbadistoday.pb, subscribing to our e-paper, and liking us on Facebook. I'm Don Paris. The Business Minute is brought to you by Signia Financial Group. To my people out there working hard to expand your horizons, chasing a flawless dream. Keep your eyes on the prize and we don't look back. It's forward thinking on to the new stuff. It's time to lay bricks on the foundation of your future. Get set with Signia to be sure. Signia, quality solutions for your financial needs.